Hi guys. So this is Tibel Koto. This is me and this is my real face. So I'm going to be vlogging in today's video. I'm going to be vlogging in today's video and I am vlogging because I was invited for an art exhibition. The first one I went was mm, so this one I said I'm going to take us along for us to see the beautiful and unique artwork Nigerians are doing. In fact, Nigerians are creative. They are really, really creative. So I just decided to take us along. Stay tuned and enjoy the video. This is the main entrance. Some of the exhibitors have their advert board and here is their red carpet. So I'm just walking into the hall itself and at the entrance i registered my name as a guest because i'm actually a guest then the next is to go into the hall the hall is looking breathtaking it's really nice and beautiful first thing is to look for the exhibitor who invited me and she is the new Lua's act so i'm trying to locate her i'm trying to locate her and she's not far from me here is the new Lua's act so these stands are for the exhibitors to display one of their artwork or their art here just for the guests to see it there are a lot of beautiful hats here 25 in all and they are quite expensive as in i can see 70k you can see it right there 70,000. there is that of 80 i think even 100 So I'm going to be taking us around the hall. I will be going to each of the exhibitor stand just to show us what they have for this exhibition. And I'm seeing some beautiful, lovely, unique designs here. I'm seeing beautiful, beautiful, beautiful works, beautiful hat work. I'm just going to be taking us around the hall. Just come along with me. Come along.
so i've been given one head gear or hat to put on my head just to display the wears and it goes with my outfit so i'm just happy it goes with my outfit just checking myself out looking how pretty it is sitting on me and looking so gallant i'm trying to feel myself you can see my outfit with my art is so beautiful and matching see the pepper then see the too much outfit look at her fascinator with her outfit goes perfectly and i'm so much loving it she must show in this vlog it is a must as in i'm dragging her to show in this video it is a must here is another one of Nyulua's guests. I think she's actually one of our trainees. What is happening now? It's a runway show. An exhibitor has a model to itself to display the exhibitor's headgear it gives the exhibitor an opportunity to create awareness to everyone at the exhibition it just gives them some kind of awareness to all and sundries at the exhibition
and here is to Inyoluwa's art. This is who I'm campaigning for. This is a whole head gear for the runway show. It's unique, it's beautiful, is Ganganga. And she's coming forward and she's coming forward on the runway show. She has turned to a model herself. So we have a little bit of diversion from the program because the MC saw this very person with his unique outfit. So he called him out on stage and what he's doing presently is to do his own runway show just to display or just for people to see what he's putting on. Sighting him from afar, I'm walking up to him to get a closer look at what he's wearing and just to see it. The curiosity in me wants to see it. So, the Commissioner for Women and Poverty Elevation, I think, I'm not sure, also is present. Asking few people questions. <laughs> 
I'm going to be asking them just little questions why they came for art exhibition amongst all the exhibition all over fashion and everything why they chose art yeah i have someone with me i have a guest with me so i'm going to be asking her some questions okay can we meet you please my name is habimbola deye the ceo of love evil world i'm into selling of fabrics shoes and bags okay. that is good uh, who, who actually invited you for this art exhibition our hearts. Okay. can you point out a uh, logo out of all this so why art exhibition okay why did i come for this exhibition actually she's my friend okay. and i'm here to celebrate her and apart from that i'm a lover of art okay. i'm a lover of fascinators anything fascinator arts i'm a lover of art so okay. i'm here to... uh, uh, so far so good what has it been like being here today it's been lovely concerning the runways people have as, it, as in people have shown their their handiworks and i've seen so many handiwork plus siri fascinators and hats so it's been lovely it's been it's been interesting what advice can you give to those that want to go into art making ah I, I can't really say much but i think before going into art making you should learn from a let me use the word guru like you know she's a guru when it comes to making fascinators and art you should do a survey around and go 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 to the best uh, melina to learn from so from there you will learn so many things before going into art making okay thank you so much you are welcome thank you very much i have another person here she's actually one of you who has trainings and i want to ask her some questions okay good afternoon please can we meet you yeah my name is ibrahim omotino alawa okay so what is the inspiration behind you coming to learn art um a lady who loves fashion which especially when it comes to things that has to do with head attires so it inspired me like okay i don't just want to do it for myself alone for but for people out there because i know women we love when we dress and we accomplish it with something talking on our head so how many months have you have you been into this art learning okay i started during the corona period that was 2020 started learning from minolua art i'm done but i'm still at training okay okay so far so good you've gone through the training and you are done with the training what have you been able to get clients or do you think what you've learned so far is not of use to you or you believe it has really helped in a long way okay thank you every day of my life i give thanks to god because i'm happy i went into learning millinery work i've got clients not even in nigeria alone outside the country i have my aunt there she does this for her children over there and she has introduced me to her friends so every day of my life i give thanks to god for learning it because it's worth it okay so what on the, on the final question what advice do you give can you give to those people out there that that want to learn this but they are still like, should I go into art learning or something more lucrative that underhands more money? Yes. Okay, the advice I can give them is they should just encourage yourself. You know, they are the number one motivator, their self. Once you are able to motivate yourself, even when challenges arise, your, your inner motivation will trigger you to keep doing it and you will not relent you know gone are those days when art is not relevant in our generation now everybody wants to wear something on their head so it's something that is now raining so if they are going through it they cannot regret it because the way they would even brand it and they won't regret it it's something they would gain money from something they would gain money from it's a lucrative business let me use that word thank you so much thank you bye bye so you heard from her in case you want to go into art business and you're looking for someone or somewhere where you can learn art work there are various okay i'm going to be recommending in your work at you she's very good she's unique she's outstanding she has the same name on instagram okay she does physical and online training so you are not limited because of location too so you can also contact her for online trainings i'm going to be linking her information below just check her out her work is very unique thank you okay so guys i met someone very interesting at the art exhibition that we are in presently and i would love to ask him some questions good afternoon good afternoon can we meet you 
Okay, uh, my name is John. My name is John Edom. I'm an artist. I'm a sculptor by profession and I'm also an upcycler. I noticed the MC called you out for, uh, for a on the runway show and something like that. And when I saw your dressing, your shirt and everything that is there with your cap, it's so interesting and beautiful and it's creative in a way. So I would just like you to explain what is the inspiration. Just tell us the inspiration behind this. Okay, um, like I said, I'm an artist and I'm also an upcycler. So as an upcycler, um, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm an advocate of um, waste to wealth. Okay, um, it's, uh, it's more like a passion because I believe that everybody has, an, has a responsibility to solve a problem. So knowing that there's a global problem, which is a climate action ahead, in my only two way, I try to see how I can utilize waste you know materials as a sort as a potent media for creative um, you know designs both in art and in fashion so i see this as a way of conserving waste you know trying to ignite that conversation you know to the public so that they understand that waste apart from just being a problem it can also be a solution because we are the ones that create this problem so we have to find a solution to the problem that we are creating so this is more like an eco-friendly way of accepting these waste materials. You said something that you're an artist. So as an artist, are you using it as a lucrative means or just as something, just passion? Okay. As an artist, I, I actually have a business called, called uh, John Edom Visuals. So I create eco-friendly interior decors from waste materials. I create flower vases, I create lampstands, dif different interior um, decors and um, I also do commission works as well like the moment there's a work we're negotiating on to do his interiors he wants everything in his house to be made from waste materials and you it's difficult to find you know such people but that's the concept he wants and so that's also i'm not just doing it besides the passion i also make money from it okay this is good so someone seeing you for the first time or just watching this video for the first time wants to go into this kind of business that we are doing what kind of advice can you give to the person okay um first of all you must have like what i do is you know in life generally um there's this principle of appropriation and domestication when i say appropriation appropriation is working with existing knowledge most times from the global world and then domesticating it is localizing it here in your culture and so you have to have a ground knowledge of what you want to get into people don't just i i see myself as one percent one percent of you know people out of 99 that are doing what you know most people cannot do and i can walk on the streets and there are a lot of things i can do because of the orientation i've gotten so for you to go into something like this um you must be grounded you must understand what you're going into this is waste we're talking about you don't go and buy these things from the market you source for them on the streets you pick them so they are dirty they are smelling so you have to be able to accept them before people can even accept what you're doing and so you have to understand what you're doing first of all because um people are beginning to appreciate waste wealth you know the world is tilting you know there's a paradigm shift you know everybody's talking about sustainability you know so that we can create um, a green economy you know people are people are going green now you know so people are doing different things you know this plastic um, conservation people are using plastic you know to protect the ocean and also you have to have a background knowledge first of all whatever it is you're doing generally you know applicable to this as well have a background knowledge of what you're doing try to find out what people have done in this aspect the existing knowledge before you now go into it. Okay. So presently, do you have any training for those that want to learn or do you just do it personally? Okay, um, at the moment, I, I carry out trainings like with organizations. Like recently, I just finished one with um, House on the Rock. It's a training they organize for um, street kids. So I've been doing that for the past eight weeks. And so I carry out trainings with different NGOs. But personally, if you want to train, you can just contact me. And then my Instagram handle is Jedomite. And so maybe from there, or you can also contact me through my phone number. Um, that's my WhatsApp, um, 081-04806172. And then we can talk further because I don't just um, train people. I have to know that, okay, you're really interested in this and you really know what you want before I train you because there are a whole lot of vocations. There is fascinator, there is catering. There is um, makeup and a lot of things. Uh -huh. So you have to be passionate about this before I can say, okay, I want to take my time to train you on it. Thank you so much. This is really an eye-opener. Nice meeting you and thank you for giving us a few minutes out of your time. God bless you. Right. So you've heard it from the horse's mouth himself. If you want to train and if you have interest in training, you can just check out his Instagram page and his phone number. He left it for us. I'm just going to type it 
below the comment section thank you so much the last person i'm going to be interviewing now is the millennial that invited me to this art exhibition in new Rua's art herself so we are going to meet her good afternoon ma yeah good afternoon can we meet you yeah, my name is Ajibola Bosete, um, the creative director of Inyolua Heart Millinery. Um, I'm based in Songwater, Open State, and I have um, my office is situated at um, Kilometer 804 Road, Songwater. Okay, so out of all the lucrative jobs that we have in Nigeria, let's say, why did you choose art making? Yeah, um, sincerely, right from the onset, I remember when I was in my school days, I just had the flair for it, I don't know. Just had the flair for it, and I had the interest, you know, to learn it. It's okay, well, let me learn. I never knew I was going to do this, because I actually studied chemical engineering, and I have a master's in chemical engineering. But I just find it easy, like, it's something that I love doing. I can wake up in the middle of the night, I keep doing, coming up with several designs. I say, okay, well, let me go into this. And, you know, I went into it fully, and I, I, say I have so much passion for it, and... I love it I, and you know what keeps me going is when people see my work they tell me wow this is beautiful this is lovely did you make this I say yes did you actually make I say yes so I'm like oh wow so I can actually I actually made this so this is something I would you know um, want to do more and training people over the years you know they've always told me that you know wow this is this is divine so I believe that um, I'm on the right track how many years have you been into the art making business um, that should be over six between six to seven years because I knew I started like 2015 that's like seven years now and it's been wonderful all along do you only have physical class or you have both online and physical class we have both physical and online classes and we've trained over 500 persons both online and physical i think that we have trainees who graduate every three three months and um, that's physically and we continually have um an online class um so we run online class continually it's non-stop so it's it keeps going okay presently we are at the heart exhibition how has this exhibition helped you so far because i remember you have invited me to an exhibition was it last year or two years ago and i saw the beautiful works this millennial did and i was even i was so happy that you invited me to this one and so far so good i've seen so many creativity so how has this helped your business yeah um firstly i would say um it has brought out the creativity in me you know looking forward to this exhibition i actually actually just sit down and say okay i think i need to do something unique so it helps me to think more on creating unique and wonderful headpiece that ordinarily i wouldn't do because i know i'm coming for an exhibition so i have to do something you know different from every other designs you see and so one is that helped my creativity and two it has helped um our brand in quote and brought us into limelight like it has actually opened um, advertised us to the old world let me say it that way some people believe that artwork is not very lucrative like fashion designing makeup hairdressing so what do you have for those kind of people oh, wow sincerely art making is lucrative you've had more than fashion designing because for every piece you sell you have more than 50 percent gain so a lot of people do not know that but once you are in you know that there is money in it so it's very lucrative so for those that are still thinking on okay should i go into should i not please do well to come in it's a very lucrative business and it's it's something it's easy to start up you don't need much to start up in the business to wrap it up i want you to advertise yourself let the viewers know your instagram page then advertise your school both online and offline okay yeah uh, firstly we have a youtube page that's in yolua heart millinery academy we have several videos there so you can go there subscribe to our video and then um watch um two we also have um, a website www.inyoluahat.com so you can go there and make your orders and our instagram handle too is inyolua at underscore millinery so and we also have a facebook page in yolua heart um our classes once you just chat us up on whatsapp 08062327700 then we are good to go thank you very much thank you
Yeah, thank you for this. You're welcome. You can see it's not only physical class, so there's no limitation for you. You can as well contact her for our online classes. This is one of our work on my head and it's looking so beautiful. Just get in touch with her. So hi guys, this is me at the end of the program, it is done, I'm just there and I am on my way back home, I'm on my way back home and I have this small beautiful unique hat on my head, I don't know if it's, I think it is called a fascinator and I don't like all this elaborate bing 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 like, see me, see my head, it is given to me by my sister-in-law in Hiolua's art. She was the one who invited me for the exhibition program. So I love the exhibition. It was beautiful, unique in its own way. This year exhibition is great. Just like that of last year. It's great. It was interesting and I really enjoyed it myself. I met some of my in-laws also, my family members and it was fun. I met a lot of people and i could not vlog the whole runway show because i was quite busy with some other stuff and the guy the up cycler i think that was what he called himself i love his his top his shirt well i call that shirt on top it was unique and what he put on his head you can see how creativity comes out of you it takes something that people threw away, death and something like that and brought out another beauty from death that people don't even think about that we can use this thing to create something else. I love that 
i was like immediately the mc announced him and he came on stage to do a runway show i said in my mind that i'm i need to interview this guy i was curious on why he would go for something like that and luckily i got my chance i was able to interview him and you could you saw in the video how he explained it it was not only something he saw as a passion he saw it as an artwork and it makes him express himself much more better and also a lucrative work and it is, is and he said it's really yielding fund for him or will i say income for him so it's great this is my very first vlog i think i enjoyed this kind of but it wasn't really easy for me moving around the whole vlogging like like that because i'm an in-in person not an out-out person but at least i'm happy that this video is going to be out there for some people who think that artwork is not lucrative you can see when i interviewed the new Lua's art the guest and the trainee in our school what they said that is much more lucrative than what people think but i discovered that it is a very lucrative job because some of the hats they actually exhibited their cost 50 80 90k and even some for 100k so i and i believe nigerians more of nigerian youths are now into handcraft work like art making fashion makeup fashion illustrations sketching lots and lots more like that because of the situation in the country and seriously or should i say and it's really bringing out the best in them the hidden talent in, in them it's really helping helping us helping nigerians a lot so if you're thinking of going into art making you can do so i bet you can do so and i'm recommending Ilulua's art she's good she has online class and she has physical class also just try her out you'll be getting from the best i said from the best i think it's high time i focus more on my youtube page so i just need some encouragement from my family we are my family tv channel is, is increasing because of you guys thank you so much i really appreciate it just follow me up like comment what do you think about this video what do you think and my outfit i'm going to be posting the tutorial of my outfit very soon on my page thank you so much for watching this video god bless you subscribe please subscribe 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 like and leave your thoughts in the comment section till next time bye, -bye.